Greetings, magical souls. I'm the Silver Sage Witch of Witchcraft and More.com, and I'm really glad that you're here today. Thanks for joining me. As you can see, I've decided to make a nice cup of tea. I have learned that no matter what the situation is, tea can make almost anything better. So I invite you to do the same thing or grab something else that you'd like to drink or eat. Snack on. Snacks are always welcome. <laughs> The tea I'm using today is Indusher Chai from India. It's got a delicious, deep, spicy flavor to it. But I just love to enhance that flavor with some extra cinnamon. Cinnamon is definitely the spice of life. just about done brewing. <laughs> oh yeah. Gotta have my tea. Love it every day. What I wanted to talk with you about today is planting seeds. Magical seeds for your magical intentions but first we're going to go ahead and pour this delicious cup of tea I also like to add a little bit of honey to mine because I love to have a sweet life and honey makes it so good. I've decided to use honey instead of using the regular white processed sugar because there's really no vitamins or minerals or anything in the white processed sugar. But honey is from nature and it's gonna be even better tasting. And I also like to add my soya milk because that helps to make the taste even smoother. Go. I hope you guys have something to drink too. <laughs> oh, this is great. Cheers. You know, I've always wanted to do my gardening here in Germany, but I think I've mentioned to you I've got major spinal problems and I also have Lyme disease so my Henry decided to make some raised garden beds for me and they turned out just right I'm really grateful for them so now I can go ahead and do my gardening <laughs> have my hands in the mother earth the rich mother earth's dirt and I can prepare my magic. I have some potatoes that I've got left over from a long time ago when I had decided to plant my garden and they've started to sprout. So when I plant these, each one of these that I plant is a magical wish, a magical desire, or a magical intention. But first we have to get the earth ready. We've got to dig our hole before we can see any type of response from our desire or request. 
we have to put a lot of thought into it also. We've got to prepare everything and make sure that it's just right so that we can reap the harvest that we so desire. You've got to have the idea of what you want and dig the hole, meaning making the preparations for it. And then once you do that, you can move on to the next step, which is watching your desire grow as you water it and tend to it. And then you can start harvesting that which you have grown. Camera's running. Whether it be in your magical garden or a plant that you have inside of your apartment or house, however you wish to do it, you have to know for a fact that these desires and these magical wishes that you have, you have to know for a fact that they are going to come to fruition. They are going to happen. And then you can start reaping that which you have sown. And it makes life so much better when you know that you have a hand in co-creating your life. The bounty that we collect from our magical gardens can sometimes be so, so abundant and so incredible. Absolutely wonderful. But don't forget, you have to water your intentions. You have to water your intentions and make sure that you're giving them Mm, the attention that they deserve every single day. <laughs> so just keep going. Keep going. Don't ever give up. Because it's all going to work out. You'll see. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you the brightest of magical blessings. Take care of yourself and be good to everybody. <laughs>